Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm going to do a little experiment. I'm back on the flag again. I was going to try to get to the horse today, but I've got so little time. I had so much stuff going on today. I just had no time to get down here and get to work in my studio. So I'm going to try something. I looked up. Um, there were quite a few uh, flags carried by the Custer uh company uh i can't remember how many quite a few though so there was one that is really badly damaged um and it had a square cut out of the bottom part here in this area here i'll put a picture of it here to show you what i'm talking about um i found another one that had some damage to both tips of the swallowtail part of the uh flag and what looked like a bullet hole down here in the bottom corner soaked in blood almost half of it soaked in blood um, you, you can see the, the dark brown stains of, of the blood I'm going to take a little experiment on my other flag the, the first one I did and to see how this looks before I do it on the uh, actual finished flag. So I'm going to, uh, I think I might get me a new blade. Get me a real good blade in this thing. I've got very limited time this week. And, uh, I'm going to try to get as much done as I can, but I can't do too much today, I'm sorry, fortunately. Okay. just a little damage on this one. And if it was torn, it usually was torn right at the seam where they sewed the stripe. And so that's what I'm trying to do here. And I had a bullet hole right down here. Or what looked like a bullet hole. I think that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to do that on the uh, flag he's carrying. And uh, I'm going to set that flag aside.
I've tried to put some folds in the flag, but it's hard to do because the clay is so heavy that it doesn't want to hang any way but straight down. And I may have to put the folds in it when I get to the foundry. And uh, they get ready to make a mold of it. I'll, they'll have to separate it from the uh, the main clay. And when they do that, I'll put the folds in it I want. And some support underneath the folds so that they stay in there. So when they make a mold, it'll come out the way I want it. Anyway, I'm going to redo this uh, spear point because I found out through research that the spear point is actually a little different look to it. Actually, I'm not going to waste my time right now on the spear point, spear point at the tip. Um, I'll put this one back on for now. Only because I want him to see what I'm going to have at the end of this stick. And it's, his hand is starting to move. I'm going to have to take the flag out while I work on the uh, rest of the horse now. I think I'm going to have to put a piece of sagebrush on this because the tail would have to be way too long to reach the ground. Well, as much as I'd like to continue, I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow. I don't know if this is going to work or not. It's I'm trying to make an armature for the uh, sagebrush, and I know that that's going to add cost to this piece. I just have no other way of supporting this this bronze. I have to. These legs will bend at, over time, and it could bend drastically in shipment. So. That's why I, I have to be very conscious of supporting the, uh, the bronze. Now there was sagebrush on the, on the ground at the battle. Yeah, there's sagebrush at the ground at the battle and uh, it was quite high. There is no sagebrush now there because a few years ago they got hit with lightning and the whole field burned up, which revealed a lot of artifacts that they had not seen before on the ground. So anyway, that's going to be it for tonight. Um, I'm going to gather some pictures of sagebrush and see what I can come up with. Um, I'm going to try to make this as simple as I can, but, uh, Maybe make some safe 
sagebrush with very little foliage on it, but more, you know, dead uh, limbs, just exposed limbs. But I'll figure that out. I'm using uh, bonsai wire. It's it's used for forming bonsai trees, and uh, I'm gonna have to let that glue harden, and hopefully I'll be able to work with that tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just. It's just getting too late in the evening. All right, everybody. Have a great night. And uh, I'm sorry I couldn't do much today, but I got as much as I could. All right. Good night. See you tomorrow. Please give me a like and a subscribe. And ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.